you watched my first video that I put on YouTube about the killing of Private Francis Bell and the involvement of Jerry Adams, head of the IRA. I tried to tell the media about the story for a long time. One day, a man called Liam Clark from the Sunday Times came upon the story that I was trying to uh, publish. He informed me that a man, Liam Holden, was captured, uh, sentenced, and sentenced to death with all the rigmarole of having the black cap on the head and the judge telling him he was sentenced to death for being a traitor. It's the first time I ever heard about this. So, Clark produced for me the statement that Holden had written. In the statement, it stated that he fired two shots from a 303 rifle. Two shots. A 303 rifle is a bold action. You need to cock it, withdraw the spent case, and put another round up the spout to fire a second time. There was only one shot fired. I was there, one shot, and it was within armor light. So the statement was false, definitely made under duress, and the people make, forcing them to sign the statement didn't know all the circumstances about the killing of Private Francis Bell. And this is why they made the mistake about the rifle and the number of shots fired. It was convenient that a couple of weeks after the arrest of uh, Liam Holden that a rifle was produced with a 303 rifle with two rounds missing out of the magazine. An IRA informer had first of all informed Don Holden that he was the killer and second where the rifle was. The same informer still lives in Bally Murphy. Therefore he wasn't an informer, he was a double agent. He was accepting money off the police saying that he was an informer when actually the IRA were telling him and winding his strings up and telling him what to say. He was an informer, no, he was IRA and still lives in Bally Murphy. Getting to the point again, I mean, say, sentenced to death, why Liam Holden? Ah, his sister married a soldier, a no-no for the IRA. Many soldiers married Catholic and Protestant women in Northern Ireland. When, when the two para first went to Bally Murphy, it was to protect the Catholics from the Protestants. So the Catholic women were all over the soldiers, and some soldiers married girls from Bally Murphy. One in particular later left the army and with his wife, his wife asked Jerry Adams and the IRA whether he could bring his, uh, her husband to visit the mother-in-law in, in Bally Murphy. And the IRA said yes. When he got there and he was sitting on the couch having tea and biscuits, the IRA come in and executed him. Not taking prisoner. IRA don't take prisoners. They executed him sitting on the chair. So that was another story how the police fabricated the evidence. They kept me away from the trial. They kept me away from the trial. I would have given evidence to contradict this statement that had been made under torture. When Liam Holden was arrested, they sent paratroopers to arrest him. Paratroopers to arrest a man that killed a paratrooper. Not a clever idea. To think he wasn't going to get roughed up and manhandled. But there was somebody in charge of the patrol who it was stated was SES, but I don't think so. More likely MI5 was, or an agent like that. And he's the one that made Holden force uh, sign, sign this statement. The Paris took uh, Holden to uh, a, a Protestant area and said, Look, we've got a para killer here. Oh, Protestants would have hung him no problem at all. And the crowd was gathering around to just do that. So he signed the statement. And that is what convicted Holden and sentenced him to death. That one statement. 
Do you trust the police? I don't. For telling this story, I was hounded out of England. Tommy Robson is a prime example for telling the truth. He told the truth and look what they're doing to Tommy Robson. They did exactly the same to me because I went against the system. The police said to me, why are you trying to help Holden? I says, well, he's innocent. He's a Catholic. I says, it doesn't matter. My wife's a Catholic. So uh, I couldn't believe the police. They didn't want me to make a statement to them that this man was in it and prove he was innocent. I went against the establishment and the police. And for that, I was hounded out of England.